Hello, welcome to another part of building a Briggs Raptor. I got a stock carburetor here, five horsepower. I took the diaphragm out and the spring, everything. I'm going to show you how to board out. I mean, it's not a professional job, but for all you uh, do-it-yourselfers, it's going to be a pretty neat little video for you. You're going to need a Dremel. Just an ordinary Dremel. You could buy a, you know, Northern Tools, Harbor Freight, uh, anywhere you can get a Dremel. Um, my Dremel came with this uh, extension here. And that's that's real nice for getting way down inside the carburetor. Because where what I did was I honed it I honed it from the butterfly in there. You see that butterfly, the throttle. I honed it from there back. Now you don't want to go too far as I did once already. This one right here, it, look how big it is. I mean that hole is huge and unfortunately I went too far um, trying to be greedy and get a little more out of it a little more and um, I, I went through the walls there's these little I don't know if you could see it but if you look on yours you got these little nipples here on your carburetor and that that's very thin so when you do this, if you only have one carburetor, don't go see, don't go as far as I did. You know, every little bit helps, but don't go too far because you'll ruin your carburetor. Okay. Now this is a stock one, stock hole, very stock. And this one is a honed one. It's like. I honed it real nice. Now, the other thing I want to tell you is where the spring goes, there's a little lip right here. See that lip? Be very careful when you're honing on this side. You're going to go around, you're going to go with the Dremel around and around and around inside. And what I use is, um, I use these round sanding discs with some fine grit. You want to get some fine grit. This one's wore out. You see, it takes a little while. And you want uh, fine grit and then you want some heavy grit. You can buy them at Home Depot, uh, Lowe's, stuff like that. Look for the Dremel kits. And um, these work These work the best. Okay, I've tried the stones. I've tried these stones. Oops. This stone here, all it does is put a little uh, aluminum on the stone and then you're through. The first minute did that. And so, again, these round sanding discs are the best. You start out with a real heavy grit. And then when you're done, you go with the fine grit to, to make it real fine. Again, I can't stress as much as too much is not good enough you know just hone it out and you're gonna notice a big improvement on my engines I got Briggs and Stratton Raptors on my engine I was doing 5900 before I honed the carburetor out and ported the engine which I've already told you how to do that in one of the previous videos but I, I honed the carburetor out. I got 600 more RPMs just by honing this, honing this carburetor out to where you see it. Now, you can see it's a lot bigger. If you, I, I, I got it on the tank, so I really can't show. Well, maybe you can. But it's, it's bigger. And I can't stress enough to just take your time and go back and forth, back and forth, all the way down to the, if you can't get all the way to the butterfly, just your 
what I call the manifold from from as far as your Dremel will let you go in out here the more open you make this the more air and gas is going to go into your engine and it's going to improve your RPMs but again be care be very careful be very careful with this spring ledge right here okay you don't want to mess with that on the inside just want to go round and round round and round until you get it real nice and a little bit bigger than what it is factory cuz like i said it's very easy to ruin one of these if you got a if you got an old junker around you might want to you know if you got an old spare carburetor that ain't worth nothing you might want to practice on that one first and see how you do with one that's that's a junker it, you know so what it takes an hour to do it but you know you're gonna learn by doing the the junker one first and if you do mess up you you ain't lost nothing but if you take your carburetor off and you mess up then you're gonna be looking for another carburetor so that's the uh, hillbilly way of boring out your carburetor to get about four, five, six hundred more RPMs. Thank you.